Do you allow people to question you? <laughs> well, if anybody who watched my seminars, they wouldn't ask that question because the reality is most people who come to my seminars question me constantly. And so, yes, of course, I allow people to question me. I don't allow people to treat me badly while they're questioning me. I feel there's a difference between allowing someone to ask you a question and someone who's asking you a question in order to attack you. I don't believe that I need to be attacked in any way and I wouldn't attack another person if I was asking them questions. And so I feel people are allowed to ask questions as long as their questions are, are, are you know, stated with a loving attitude. That being said, there's been many times in my seminars where people haven't stated their questions in a loving way and I've still answered them. I do believe, however, that it is important for us all to start questioning with a more open attitude. What I notice happening a lot in my seminars is that people ask a question when really they want to make a statement. What I mean by that is they ask me, they, they, they couch a question when really they just want to make a statement about me to me. And, and I don't believe this is a very valid form of questioning. If a person is truly sincere, they will ask a question without attempting to make statements. If we want to have a conversation, then make some statements. That's fine by me. But make the statements rather than trying to turn them into questions. Make the statements. What do you believe? You can say to me, I don't believe you're Jesus. And I'll go, fine. That's okay. Can we move on? <laughs> if a person says, are you Jesus? Oftentimes they're not making, having a question, are you Jesus? Because I've already told them that I am. They're actually making a statement that they don't believe I am. Does that make sense? And so what I'm trying to do is say to them, well, you can make the statement that you do not believe that I'm Jesus, and I'm perfectly happy to accept your statement, but that's not a question. If you're asking me whether I'm saying I'm Jesus, certainly I am. That is a question, and I'll answer the question, yes. But, uh, but when people couch their comments as questions, when really they want to make statements, then I will actually look at their underlying emotional issues or reasons as to why they want to do that with them in an open forum. Many people become quite afraid of that. So in other words, if a person came to me and said, are you Jesus, when they've heard me say many times to them that I am, then I would say to them, why are you asking this question again? What emotion in you is causing you to ask this question in the way in which you have? Because I've already answered the question. I don't need to answer it again. I've already stated quite clearly what the answer is. My suggestion is if you come along to a seminar, come prepared to answer, ask sincere questions. And I will come prepared to give you a sincere answer about what I believe to be true. You do not have to believe me, but you definitely need to treat me with some respect while you're asking me the question. Because if you don't, I will ask you to leave my seminar. I'm paying for your seat and I'm paying for the venue and I'm spending my time with you for free. You definitely need to treat me with some respect. If you don't, don't come. Because if you come with that attitude, I'll send you home. And if you don't go home, I'll call the police, in fact because I actually have a feeling of my own worth that it is, I feel I am worth as much as you are. And therefore I don't deserve to be attacked just like you don't deserve to be attacked. So don't come to my seminars if you expect to attack me. Come to my seminars if you want to sincerely ask some questions that you would like to have answered. Or come to my seminars on certain subjects because you'd like to know more about that particular subject. That's my suggestion.